This is the first time commercial fisherman Gary Stone is back to work at the Belford Seafood Cooperative. If we don't land any fish on a dock, we don't make any money. That's why Stone headed to Montauk right after the storm hit. He needed an operational dock and ice machine. Well, I got 10,000 a month in bills and five kids to feed. I can't say, I can't, can you work for, stay home for three weeks? I can't, if I don't work, the bills don't get paid. Sandy, Sandy hit Belford harder than any storm ever hit back in history. Sandy came in one end of the building and went out the other end, took all the doors out, took the refrigeration, the electrical, uh, it was just a total, total devastation. The fishermen are grateful none of the boats were damaged, but everything else was destroyed. General Manager Joseph Brennan says the co-op is operating on last summer's profits and the loss of their entire fishing market, which is typically open seven days a week, is a devastating blow. This is what's left of the Belford Seafood Co-op's restaurant. Everything was washed away by the storm. But Brennan says despite this destruction, he hopes the restaurant will be rebuilt and operational by May or June. We had a deck here that seated 100 people for dinner at our part of the restaurant, which is, as you can see, gone. And it's over in the parking lot about 400 yards away. Commercial fisherman Roy Deal has worked in the industry for 30 years. It'll be a couple of weeks to get the money coming back in, so we'll probably be looking at uh, middle of December for a first paycheck. It's devastating. Everybody's devastated around here. How are we going to go to work? There's no way to go to work here. Brennan hasn't determined the overall cost of the damage. He says every day the team picks up the pieces and works to rebuild. <laughs> When the fishermen aren't at the co-op making repairs, many are home, trying to salvage whatever Sandy didn't take from them. As for Stone, he says he's determined to stay strong for his family and fight what often feels like an uphill battle. we got to keep climbing or we're going to fall down. For NJ Today, I'm Lauren Wonko in Belfort.